Kalyan. In this video, we will be solving a lead code medium level problem number 39 combination sum. The problem statement is we are given an array of distinct integer candidates and a target integer target. We need to return all the unique combinations of the candidates where the total of all of the numbers is equal to the target. We can return the combination in any order. In example number one, the candidates are 2, 3, 3, 6 and 7 and the target is 7. So based on these numbers, we can build a total of 2 arrays or 2 combination of numbers which will give us the total 7. One is 2, 2, 3 and the other is just 7. We are allowed to repeat the same number multiple times. Hoping that you understood this problem statement, Let's switch to whiteboard and talk about how this can be solved. Now thinking from the simple solution to solve this problem, the first simplest approach is a brute force where you will start with a tree and try to add each number and see if the combination adds up to the total. For example, starting with an empty array because we have three combinations or three inputs given we will split it into three parts first is two three and five so with two we can either add two either add three either add five similarly at each layer you will keep on checking for all the possible combination that is given to us in the candidates array so let's try one example over here so starting with empty when we are at this first two my total is two then if i'm going to this leg I might new total will be 4 if I am navigating it down to the next layer or the next leg my total will be 6 similarly I will continue to the next leg and now I got my total 8 because this matches to my target I will add these 4 or these legs to my result as you can imagine this iteration is going to be a lengthy one and we will definitely end up doing some duplicate calculations. For example, when I am at this three position, my array contains two comma, two comma, three, because my path is starting from this two to this two and then this three. If I go a different way, so from this two, let's say I'm going to this three. So my array will have two comma, three. From this two, I can go to two, three or five if i go to this leg with the value two my new array will have two comma three comma two which is same as what we have already iterated hence there are several duplicate combination that we will end up doing if we go by a traditional or a simple approach coming up with an algorithm that would run this brute force approach is simple the challenge is to identify the duplicates so let's think about how we can optimize this solution a bit better so that we can solve the problem efficiently. The first solution to minimize the number of iterations is to order the input into ascending order. Let me give you an example to prove why this will be useful. Let's say while we are building an array, this is the combination that we built. So 2, 2, 2 and 3. So the total is so the last element that we added to the array is 3. Now because this is greater than the target, we cannot add this solution. But if I can say that my array is sorted, so any number after 5 is also going to give me a sum which is going to be greater than t. So in that scenario, I can completely break out of my loop and go to the next combination. So instead of adding any more values to this place, I can switch to the previous position and start updating that. Adding this logic to our solution is going to improve the solution and avoid unnecessary calculations. One way to avoid the duplicates array, we will set a rule of one, one flow will add the previous number to the sum to the array and the other approach or the other leg will be not to add it. 
when I'm adding the previous number, so my array will have array will be two comma two. If I don't add the same number and instead add the next number, my array will be two comma three. Similarly, from this position, if I break it into two sections, I will have two comma two comma two, and from this position, I will have two comma two comma three. And if I dive deeper from this position and break it into two legs, I will have two comma three comma the last leg that i added is three and on the right hand side i will have two comma three comma five so we are always going to increment our index or look at the number that is on the right we will never look back or look at the numbers to the left with this approach of having a rule to split the next leg into two parts, we will not be running into the issue of having duplicate arrays because our parents are going to be different and we are only going to be looking to the right hand side of the array. And also all of the numbers to the right of the current value or the current number is going to be greater because it is given in the problem statement that all numbers are unique or distinct. Hence, we will not be having the same number again. And the other cases, we are doing an ascending on our candidates array. Let's apply the same logic for three. I'll just use this empty space over here. So for three, the first is going, the left leg is going to be to add the same number. So I will have three comma three and the right side will have three comma the next value which is five three comma three the total is six which is less than the current target so we can continue further so on the left hand side of three comma three i will have three 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 because we are adding the same number again and on its right we will have three three and five this total is nine this is greater than our target there's no point of continuing or moving forward. So we will break the loop on the right leg. The total is 11. Again, it is greater than T. No point moving forward. So we will break the loop. Similarly, if you look at the right hand side, we have three comma five. The total is A, which matches the target. We will add this to our result. So with this solution, our time complexity is 2 raised to the power t where t is the target the reason for this 2 is we are splitting or we are having two legs after each calculation and the maximum depth of this tree is going to be equal to the value of t because we won't be going deeper than that i hope you were able to understand this explanation to solve the problem efficiently let me show you how we can implement the same logic using c -sharp. Here is my c -sharp solution. In the main method, I first organize or sort my array in the ascending order. Then I am initializing a result variable which will hold all of the array. Then I call this helper method if index is less than candidates.length. Only then we will go into this if condition. Then I'm calculating this new sum or the temp sum by adding the sum that we have calculated so far. The current position that index is pointing. If the temp sum is greater than the target, it means we cannot do anything. We don't need to iterate forward. So we will do nothing. If the temporary sum is equal to the target, then I'm adding the number index is pointing to the temporary list adding the temporary list or array to my result and then removing it so I can use it later on. This is the concept that we usually use in backtracking. Let's say my temporary value is less than target. Then we will go inside the else condition. Here's where we are splitting the flow into two sections. The first one is we are adding the same number to the nums and continuing the calculation 
once this helper method execution is complete we will return the value that we have added and then i will call the helper method but this time i will not be adding the current number instead i will be incrementing my index to the next value once the helper method execution is complete i will have all of the arrays in this result variable and i am returning it on line 9 Thank you for watching this video. I hope you were able to understand my explanation and this source code. This source code is available on my GitHub repository. I'll be adding the link to the description below. Feel free to check that out and I will see you in the next video. Till then, stay tuned and keep coding.